Welcome to Chem Help ASAP. We're now going to talk about the, the, really the simplest bunch of functional groups that we can. We're going to talk about the hydrocarbon functional groups. So all these hydrocarbon functional groups are characterized by having zero bonds from a particular carbon to an electronegative atom. So we won't have any electronegative atoms drawn on the screen as we describe these functional groups. So the alkanes. The alkanes are characterized by having carbon-carbon sigma bonds. When I say sigma bonds, I mean single bonds as well. So this is an example of an alkane. That's a molecule called methane. It doesn't have to be a single carbon. We can have chains. There's a five-carbon chain. That would be an alkane. We can have rings and branches coming off the rings. Those are all alkanes. How do we know they're all alkanes? Because those carbons in those molecules do not have any bonds. They have zero bonds from carbon to an electronegative atom. So let's look at the alkenes. The alkenes have a carbon-carbon double bond, a sigma and a pi bond. The simplest alkene is this molecule, but of course our alkenes can get bigger. Here's a five carbon alkene where we have the carbon carbon double bond in the middle of the molecule. We could have put it on the end of the molecule and we can draw the structure of, from our alkane on the left and stick a double bond. We can stick that double bond anywhere. And this becomes an alkene instead of an alkane. Alkynes are characterized by carbon carbon triple bonds. That's a sigma plus two pi bonds. The simplest alkyne would be this molecule. We can put them in longer chains. I will note that line angle structures for alkynes are a little little delicate. So that's that's two carbons and now coming off there's our third carbon. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six carbons in that molecule. Um, one thing that's interesting about this, once we learn alkenes and alkynes, we can talk about putting multiple functional groups into a molecule. So you could refer to this molecule on the bottom right. You could call that, that's an alkene. It's also an alkyne. It's both of them. So we, we, we can have multiple functional groups. We, we can have molecules. Let's draw this molecule in the middle here. We can have molecules that contain two of the same functional group. This has two alkenes in it. So we can decorate our molecules even with just this simple category, the hydrocarbons. We can get pretty complex molecules. So these are the hydrocarbon functional groups.